Um, today I'm going to talk about three types of dreams. The first set of dreams that you can have is coming of yourself. These are going to be like odd dreams. There's no rhyme or reason to the dreams. These dreams could range um, anywhere from like, hey, um, I am flying. <laughs> it, it just, just you flying in the sky. Um, so how you can know that if a dream is coming from God is it brings... insight to like it just kind of reveals revelation it brings revelation without you like being anxious it doesn't cause you it's more like oh okay thank you for letting me know um how you can know if it's coming from um i'm gonna call it the dark side right the enemy is if the dream gives you anxiety because what happens is there's a lot of um, familiar spirits and familiar spirits are basically any spirit any spirit that has lived on this earth and um, they are not a part of God so they don't go back to God they can always choose God right because we give we get that opportunity to learn about God but what happens to familiar spirits familiar spirits is it's anybody. It could be your neighbor, you know? I don't know about you, but what if Susie from across the street is a gossip? And her, in spirit form, she's she's knock, she's knocking at you, you know, in spirit form, like, hey, these are the news that I want to report to you. She's still gossiping after she's dead. And she'll go into your dreams where you're sleeping at night, and she'll show you things that you don't want to see you know it's one thing to be like you know what this person is not good to you it's a whole other thing for this person to show like bam this is what this person's doing and they have the ability to do that that's why you know the saying that live live as you know that somebody's watching right we know god's always watching but also everybody else <laughs> is in your business all the time there's spirits everywhere Hi everyone, so I just wanted to share a message. I hope um, it can get your brain thinking a little bit. So I wanted to share a scenario where I had a family member who brought up a friend to me where they were saying, hey, so-and-so friend, do you think they're jealous of you? And when the family member brought this up, I shut it down immediately. I was like, we're not having this discussion. Just like I had various friends before who brought up a scenario regarding another friend um, that I loved and I was like we're not talking about my friend and I stopped talking to that person that tried to bring up the conversation so I want to give you something very important to think about when you're looking at the people that is around you if you have someone that you consider a friend and they're bringing up a discussion that someone spoke about you to them negatively ask yourself is that really my friend? Because my friend would have shut down that conversation because I would shut down that conversation. So I prefer to keep friends that are similar to me in that aspect because are you loyal? Are you real? You know what I'm saying? And when I hear someone say something negatively about my friend, what normally is like passing by because they don't dare have the conversation with me directly, I will shut it down. But if just by passing they say something, I don't even mention it to my friend. And when I'm hanging out with my friend, it's about us and us having a great time. Why are we talking about the ops? So just question yourself. Just question yourself. Are your friends your friends? All right. I hope you, this message blesses you and give me your thoughts. Today, I want to share um, why you may be going through spiritual warfare. So this may be a reason for you. It took me a long time to discover that the reason why I go through spiritual warfare is because I pray for people. I have a pure intent. I am filled with love and kindness. So whenever someone brings an issue to me, I will pray for them. Or if they ask me to pray for them, I will pray for them. So I pray for a lot of people, for a lot of things. And that's a reason why I get spiritually 
attacked. One of the reasons. So I wanted to share with you that may be a reason why you get spiritually attacked. It's because you pray for people, that you care people genuinely. So when you pray, your prayers goes to God. He listens to your voice. He's like, ah, that's the voice of my child. I hear them all the time. I recognize their voice because they spend time with me and they have relationship with me. So the other side, we're going to call it the dark side. They don't want you to be able to pray. So that's why you go through spiritual attack. So that's one of the reasons why you go through spiritual attacks. I hope this helps someone. Have a blessed day. This message is for a woman with a name that starts with K. Now, I do know the actual name, but I am on your behalf protecting you. So I'm not going to mention your name. But you are a mother, and your question is, how can I be a better woman than I was yesterday? Basically, you're trying to be a Proverbs 31 woman. And I don't feel like you know what Proverbs 31 is. Like, you kind of know, but you never really studied it. So my first thing is, study what a Proverbs 31 woman is like. The reason being is because you want to be a better woman and you want to be a woman that is protected by God. The benefit of being a Proverbs 31 woman is really your focus on the betterment of yourself and serving God and your family, which is everything that makes a woman happy. And don't don't get me wrong, when I say serving your family, having a career and working out your purpose is serving your family. So study to be a Proverbs 31 woman. I hope this message helps you. Stay blessed. Today's topic is why I chose not to have any type of plastic surgery. Now, if we actually understand where plastic surgery was created, um, like for example, it's for patients with, uh, for breast implants, it's for patients with breast cancer. Um, It was in order to help them. Um, Also, like when it comes to like facial reconstruction, um, that was designed to help um, burn victims and car crash. So it was actually like surgery, plastic surgery was invented to really help people and it's funny because the holy spirit has put this in my heart for the last four months but i really just don't like to talk i really really don't and it's come to a point where they're like no like can you please talk (laughs) so i'm like oh my goodness and then my dog's over here trying to hump my foot right now put in thank you It's because he wants me to play with him. I always play with him. He's such a cutie. So here here it is. The reason why I don't want to have plastic surgery, me personally, and I would love to hear how you feel. And I don't judge anyone who have plastic surgery. It's all a personal decision. I was offered many times to get many things done. And even if it was paid for, it's not me. And this is the reason why. The I've always wanted to, as a child, like, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? For my answer was, I wanted to be a grandma. Therefore, I'm going to be a mom. And I wanted to raise my kids a certain way. And I wanted to raise my kids the way that God raised me. And he raised me with confidence in myself, in my flaws, in who I am as a person. It's okay. I'm okay with my flaws. It's okay. I want my children to be confident in their flaws. It's what makes them them. Remember, the job was never given to Aaron. Aaron spoke perfectly. The job was given to Moses, who actually killed another person. I'm just saying. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. (laughs) 